This video we're going to cover transmission genetics and uh, specifically two terms or concepts that get mixed up pretty often. Segregation and independent assortment. So segregation is essentially just stating that an organism for a specific characteristic has two alleles. And uh, let's just to write something down. Let's have big A and little a as our two alleles for a specific characteristic. Now, segregation states that during meiosis, when gametes are formed, one of the two gametes, or I'm sorry, that uh, these two alleles segregate into two different gametes. That's basically all it's saying, that uh, one allele is going to go into that gamete, and one allele is going to go into that gamete, therefore causing an even distribution of genetic material, or alleles, making sure that each gamete gets all the alleles. Whereas, independent assortment is a little bit more complicated. It basically just states that the different loci, let's say for example A, A as being one loci and B, B being another, assort independently from each other. So during meiosis, when the gametes are being formed, big A is going to go into one of the gametes. Let's say, well we started off like this. Big A is going to go into one, little a into another, but whatever way big A goes has no effect on which way big B or little b go. So we could end up with this combination, or we could end up with this combination, There's just as much likelihood that that occurs as that occurs, or the other two options.